Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to a new let's play part of just a new let's play part of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today we are exploring ruse tubes for the first time. There are many different tubes inside Ru, the details of which I can't say because there are preschool toys, I mean kids around. Um, the third time to the channel apparently you can reach your highest speed by chaining up to three turbo boosts. So uh, reviewers, I I've got an idea by the way, I'm going to be reading through a lot of Crash Team Racing reviews and I'm going to be reading them with the intent to get angry because I'm already seeing the not a Crash, you know, the Mario Kart, you know, comparisons in a negative way and they are very very much upsetting me i'm going to admit that um the way that they call it not as fast and stuff like that and uh, not as skilled uh, but we will not talk about that now we're going to talk about crash team racing because mario kart that is uh, it's old news and you know what? here's the thing for me if you accuse me of jumping on a bandwagon no crash team racing has always been my favorite racing game uh apart from gran turismo and speed freaks as you guys may know all right so let's, let's get off let's get off a good, good, good start here because we're not yet. Okay. There we go. The real, the 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 real difficulty of Crash Team Racing is looking at your boost gauge and making sure that you're not, uh, you know, yeah. You you, need, you really you really need to be careful because you kind of like almost feel like you're just sort of playing the game on autopilot. Um, really needed to hit that by the way. Very disappointed in myself. All right. This like this is like a different texture, believe it or not. There we go. Oh, I finally hit it. That would have been an incredible shot. Um, yeah, it would have, it's, that, that texture there is kind of feels like different, so it's like harder to get a jump on it. Anyway, uh, oh yes, perfect. Anyway, this level is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love all the, look, look at the jellyfish up there, like that is just some incredible detail. And then you come under here, and it feels like sort of contextual, like sort of tonally, it feels like sewer speedway. So it's almost like the levels are linked in some way. I would say this, that, you know, the, the attention to detail Beanox have paid, yeah, that's my dog barking. He's very excited about Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Um, the one thing you can say about, you know, this is that people, like, Beanox just, they care, man. Like, I know that sounds so cliche, but it's true. They really care about the Crash Bandicoot series. And I think, you know, over the next few months as we're going to see all these new, this new content, it's just, it's just so exciting to see. And like, this is what Crash deserves, let's be honest. Crash deserves a level that looks modern, like this, detailed and fun at the same time. Uh, there we go. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Yes, we are. 143. Not a bad time. Not a bad time. Actually quicker than the first level, which is interesting. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see. We're gonna, we're gonna come back, because it was a very quick part, obviously. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of exploration. So if, you, if you're just keen to see me, uh, you know, if you're keen to just see me play the level, you know, with a, with a high level of skill or, you know, an average level, I would say average level of skill, maybe just slightly above average, that's cool, but what I want to do as well is explore the levels a little bit and, you know, pay attention to some of the detail that you may be missing, um, because obviously we're racing past really, really quick, but yeah, guys, this is what, you know, this is what Crash deserves, I've been saying this for a long time, I was the first one to be skeptical about this game, I thought, you know, I've already seen Crash, I love Crash, but, you know, I've seen it, you know, I've seen it before. But this, this is actually feels new. All right, there's a, look at Polo, it's like a little weird, the Polo is a strange, what is that like? I don't even know. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Thank you. To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black, then press the power slide button. If you wait too long, you'll hear a backfire sound and miss your chance for a boost. Maybe that's the way to kind of boost properly. Got a new set of wheels, Team Bandicoot wheels. Excellent, they look like the ones from Nitro Kart. All right, let's go to customization and let's change it. All right, so we're gonna play as a different, we're gonna play as a different character actually. We're going to go ahead and play as uh, Coco Bandicoot. And we're, oh, look, we got different skins, Retro, Star, and these are the ones I've got from the bonus edition. This plays Electron Coco. All right, let's do that. Now I'll change the the cart before we before we do the next level. I just want to do this. I want to just give as much gameplay as possible. All right, so there's okay. Uh, one thing. I, oh, you know what? We actually can't go back and do Ruse Tubes, can't we? We're done. Yeah, we have we have to do it later. Oh, that's devastating. I forgot about that. That's that's kind of annoying actually. I wish we could do that. Let's go talk to. To open this door, you must come in first place in all four races of this area. 
That's right. Okay, so... That's it, guys. I can't believe it. This is this is a shorter part. But you know what, guys? It is going to be there. will be longer parts later where we can explore the levels a bit more um, in these Relic and CTR challenge videos because I will make them like longer videos and they'll be they'll be coming out, you know, post-release, you know, maybe in the weeks to come after. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. In the next part, we are going to Mystery Caves. See you then.